to today's VTuber open Q&A session. Today we're looking at, um, we're going to continue looking at our VTuber Studio project and see how we can use different OSC communications to retarget blend shapes in real time. And so it's really interesting that we found this application a few weeks ago called XR Animator. So this um, application is developed by Butts Young, who is, I think, a freelance developer. Um, and they have been spending loads of time developing this application. And it's built with MediaPipe, which is Google's mocap kind of model. And we'll be also looking at how to use these blend shape data and curves to retarget for any animations in Unreal Engine. So this is a super hacky way that we have developed and it's all housed within a blueprint. So super exciting to show you all our process and what happens behind the scenes. And so first of all, I'm just going to navigate um, to the XR Animator GitHub page and to show you the newest updates of this application. So if you followed our previous streams before, I have mentioned that the XR Animator is an AI-based full body motion capture solution. Um, I've also mentioned that it includes both face um, motion capture, but also pose tracking. So it uses different, the app is built with um, kind of different um, purposes to track, it uses different kind of ways to track the body. And it's quite interesting to see the results, obviously. Um, I'm just going to mute. Um, um, so welcome to the VTuber Q&A session. Um, if you followed the VTuber project before, you will see that the we have been working a lot on developing a mocap solution based on a single webcam. So it'd be quite interesting to show you the process behind um, this kind of motion capture, um, this motion capture solution that originally is used for these cute anime, sorry, the, these cute anime characters, but we've then developed them for metahumans. So now you're able to take data um, through VMC protocol and remap these values to the face of your metahuman. So as you can see here, um, my metahuman now maps the different mouth shapes, for example, a, e, u, e, o, which are the kind of um, default values from these VMC characters. So really exciting to show you behind the scenes of how this blueprint is developed. So as you can see here, sorry, my bandwidth is a bit low, so that might be also the reasons why it's a bit glitchy at the moment, but don't worry about that. First, what I'm gonna do is stop the server. That will help me configure these blueprints much quicker. Um, so I'm just clicking into the new VMC animation blueprint that we've created for this metahuman. Just going to take some time to open up. But as you can see here, we've done quite a bit of work to, um, to map all the existing blend shapes from our VTuber, um, from uh, streaming in using VMC protocol and we're then taking all these uh, blend shape values and remapping them uh, using some basic math to our current metahuman face. So if I just start our server again and listen in, you'll see that um, this metahuman currently is tracking to my face and just opening up the XR animator again. Obviously, there are a bit of constraints over how this tracking looks, um, but these are all data that you can then uh, manipulate within our data table. So, um, so I think the eye tracking works the best at the moment. So if I just look between left and right, it should track okay, and the blinking should also look quite all right. With mouth blend shapes, we've um, I'm basically just 
reverse engineering how um, the mouth should move and then mapping those values inside um, this blueprint. So first of all, I have an event graph that takes in data from the VMC protocol and all of these are added to two maps. So one's a bone data map and one is a curve map that a, a curve map that contains all the values of our blend shapes um, coming in from VMC protocol. So if we look at this VMC um, XR animator application again, you'll see that um, while I'm watching the values of this curve map, currently there are, I think, 16 curves, which includes five types of mouth shapes and four types of expressions. So those are the main things we want to bring forward to our metahuman character. And um, the process goes like, um, so once we track the curves, we will have these real-time update values that, um, that come with different mouth shapes, for example. Um, what I've done is I looked up the curves um, and I've used the node uh, find, which happens with the curve map. So dragged it in here and uh, find. And in this node, you'll have to use the exact same string that is in here, that it's enveloped in here to reference the, uh, the row of the map and then to get values out of it. So a really interesting, so let's look at, for example, um, accessing the curve map of this XR animator and then uh, finding the mouth values. So as mentioned, we have five vowels. I think they're mapped around um, the kind of Japanese, of the Japanese language and the vowels of them. And so the mouth shapes come with five types of vowels and I'm linking these data to the kind of to a custom function that is then linked back to and then I've named all these blend shapes um, accordingly to map back to our final uh, morph target of the messy human. So on the right here uh, in this modify curve node, you will see that these are all um, the AR kit expressions that we have access to changing in a metahuman. And then we're using basically incoming data from this curve map, finding the corresponding row, doing some math inside a custom function, and then mapping that back to uh, the curve, um, the morph targets of this modified curve node. Sounds quite complicated, but it is actually deciding when um so each of these for example <laughs> it's uh while i was doing this project as well i realized i'm learning quite a lot about animation where um the mouth shapes um determine different values of your face quite a lot so for example um let me just pull up xr animator again i'm doing the mouth ah while ah is happening my mouth is opened, so my jaw is opened, but also my mouth corners are sharpened. So they're pulled out and sharpened. Um, and if you want to do more specific animations, you would also have some kind of cheek movement and potentially some eyebrow movement. So with that, I've reverse engineered what blend shapes would be affected by this ah movement. And in my custom um, function, sorry, it, is, it looks super complicated, uh, complex, but it is actually very basic math. So in this custom function, we have the inputs of the curve um, of the curve values from a VMC character, which has five vowels and four expressions that we want to use. Um, so these will be our inputs, and we want these values to go through a series of mathematic. Um, we're basically just um, using the inputs and mapping that between 
0 to 1. And the 0 to 1, because they're real-time values from this XR animator, uh, if we times that value, so in here you will see that um, the face blend shapes are the inputs. And if we use that as a multiplier for what we want the blend shapes, um, the configured blend shapes to look like, then we will change the value of um, we'll be able to change, update the value of the blend shapes, um, of the animated blend shapes. And then we just have to divide by 10, which, um, uh, so the animation values are between zero to 10, and we just have to divide that by 10. And I've connected that back to an output. Um, and because some, uh, many of these expressions all have, um, many of these expressions all have, for example, jaw open as um, some uh, as a part of the animation. I just have to find any kind of conflicting or um, to find the maximum value among all these values and then map them back to the blend shapes. So my return nodes are all the uh, are the same as any blend shapes on on the AR kit mess humans. So as you can see here, this is what it just looks like at the moment. Um, but all of this groundwork is already done so that while you're cloning our project, it should just happen on its own, which is the best part of an open source project, which is getting getting free assets really from, from these uh, projects will be super useful. Um, so this is basically a quick sh um, quick walkthrough of my process. Um, this is definitely um, quite experimental and it doesn't have to be used. Um, it doesn't have to be used for any professional um, setup, but it's definitely useful for any kind of bedroom setup, single web webcam um, type of tracking. So we just move down a little or get closer. You'll see that it, um, uh, I see. <laughs> I've realized that because I'm sitting and leaning front all the time, then it does pick up the, the kind of like spine leaning, um, for example, like just like this. So I should probably stand up and just look a bit more uh, confident while I sit. Um, then you'll see that the animations are working right. Currently, I only have the four limbs working um, and I haven't done the hands yet. So that's my next step to work through. Um, in the motion capture, we can quickly change these motion capture options. So what we can do now is to change the different mocap from full body to full body media pipe vision. So it's going to take some time to calibrate and it should be done already. Looks like the blend shapes actually look a little better this time. So if I just stand up, oops, should be calibrating. Right. If I stand up, then this should also work. So it's calibrating right 100% now. So it should all be working fine. And you'll see that as I'm standing, um, so forget the hand rotations just yet. My body is working fine. And I believe the legs are also working. <laughs> um, so that's just a very quick walkthrough of our current updates on this full body tracking system. You can uh, use with a single webcam. It's super, super fun. And this is all thanks to obviously Butts Young for developing this amazing application that will hopefully make many uses of it with um, video streaming and uh, retargeting different blend shapes. We can even make games based on these blend shapes. Um, so that's all really, really fun. Um, that's basically all the updates from me this week. Um, I'd, I'd love to go through more specifically how I've done um, the kind of process behind it, but I don't want to bore anyone. So f please feel free to drop me any comments or questions, and I'll be sure to check um, to check an update to make sure that this project file is um, can be used immediately and adapt, uh, and it can also be adapted to different projects that you have. Um, but thank you so much for joining. 
and please feel free to drop us any questions and our process and ask about where um, the projects as well. But yeah, I'll just be hanging around in the background. Thank you. Um, so, um, so thank you everyone for joining the stream today. It's a bit short, but it's just a very quick update on where we're at with the projects and hopefully um, some of you will make really amazing uses out and kind of refashion the project and use this as a template or a starting point. Hopefully that was all very useful information to let, let you know how we've done our way of retargeting blend shapes and after polishing the project a little this week, um, I'll be sure to upload a new version of the project file so that you can quickly clone and um, and reconfigure your own VTuber studio. Amazing. Thank you so much and have a great day.